So here we are, Barney, a few hours later. Okay. <laughs> yes. Any reflections on yesterday? Well, actually, I realized when I said a couple of things, when I said I was an anxious child, I think I'm going to retract that a little bit because I don't want to end up going down the wrong path. I think I was only anxious in certain situations, not like a general, everything makes me anxious. Oh, also, okay. when you were asking about um, feeling unloved, I would say not at home, not from my family, not in the first, you know, seven years. Um, more that would be possibly amongst friends or, you know, peers, I'd say. Um, so if that, if that helps, what else was I thinking? Oh, yeah, well, obviously, <laughs> I keep trying to figure things out. And I keep telling myself, you're not going to get the answers from your head. So <laughs> that's, that's a constant conflict. Stay out of my head, and I'll probably come to the answers. Well, and that's a that's a good uh, a good comment because we 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 tend to want to like like I said yesterday about guilt we tend to want to you know that's something else and then you know that's from you know deeper in than your head okay yeah uh, uh, typically and all of everybody everybody I've never met an exception to this would love to go back in their life and redo a few things. Okay. Sure. <laughs> you know, yeah. maybe That's... a lot of, maybe a lot of things and maybe some big things, you know, but, <laughs> but, but you know. we've all got it. There's no way to avoid that in this, on this human experience, you know, so. But then I think we can look at it and say, we got just exactly what we needed to be where we are now. So we we could, I agree with you. We all look back and think, oh, maybe I should have done this differently or whatever. Very true. Yeah. But then the way to kind of reframe that, I think, is to realize, well, you know, you are the person you are today because of all those challenges you had to go through or choices you made that weren't so great. Well, and included in you are the person that you are today are some of those things that happened that haven't been resolved yet and they're and they're they are yeah. ballast in your balloon to use a metaphor we talked about yesterday, okay? <laughs> yep, very very true. And I think one thing that that maybe I, I'm just throwing things out there in case they're helpful. But for me, I find I do still get triggered by certain things and my challenge is to get to the place where I'm not because that's on me, right? Not on, <laughs> I know people who, ah, if only they wouldn't do that and they wouldn't do this and so yeah. on, I'd be yeah. fine. But, you know, that's, that's on you, obviously. So I, I need to still do some more work, obviously, if I'm still getting triggered by by things. Well, yes. And what's the last thing that, that you can recall? What's the last big, big trigger that you can recall? <laughs> the pandemic. <laughs> well, the okay. handling of it, and more specifically, the handling of it. Yeah, I guess that's such a such a i mean it's a lot of handling okay so and there's two yeah. sides to it and everything else i know i know so what what's so, the trigger um i guess well i just uh, recently finished writing a a book it's not published yet um there's probably a block to it being published and i feel like maybe uncovering this stuff and and clearing some things might free that up. But um, it, it's called the third alternative because it's all about showing people choices, options, right? And the, my tagline is there are always options. So that really triggers me because they were taking away all the options instead of giving people choice, right? And I like, definitely like, believe Like in ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine and all that? 
oh, I, I don't even know I've heard of those. And yeah, those would be choices. But uh -huh. you have to do this. You have to do that. You can't go here without, you know, a mask or a mandate or whatever, whatever the case may be. That's hardly choice. You know? Yeah, I know. So. Yeah. Or you, or you lose lose your job, or you can't go to school, or right? Yeah, exactly, no. exactly. Yeah. So, or you can't conduct your be. business. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. a business nearby us, a nice little coffee shop that was family run, and they knew people by name and so on. They had to shut down, and that, yeah, you know, this kind of thing. And I know it's got to be all for the good. And probably that they've got a lesson to learn from that challenge. And right. I've got a lesson to learn from, from all that, too. But well, it still kind of triggers me. Okay. Well, it, it triggers a lot of people. But I don't think, unless you can tell me more, that that's a candidate for what we're talking about. Because that's okay. the kind of thing. It, it's sort of an opinion. You're on one side of it. And you don't like what's happening on the other side of it. And there are lots of people with lots of opinions. And these things get triggered, oh, yeah. et cetera. Yeah. We're looking for something that triggers you and it's over the top, so to speak, an excess reaction. And the way you've described that, there's lots of people that have that reaction, including me. Okay. It triggers me. I don't think it's something we need to resolve unless you're going to tell me otherwise. Okay. okay. No, I, I, worked on some specific event like hearing about it's not actually even a specific event so much as when the lady told me they were going to close their shop i i did work on that although again you want to go further back i think yeah more. yeah typically uh, yeah. i guess another thing sorry go ahead no go ahead go ahead other things that trigger me is um I guess when people, well, it's a similar thing. Family members, if they have a certain um, sort of view that this is the only way to do a thing, this is how it has to be done, this is how it should be done. And then I, I'm i still learning to come down to where they are and meet them where they are and find the bridge. I, I think of where's that confounded bridge. Because I tend to just jump in bluntly with, oh, no, you can do this, rather than cross the, the bridge and get down to where they are. So that's an issue I have as well. But well, that may not be what you're looking for either. <laughs> okay, I'll let you lead. And... Well, no, uh, these are all good inputs. Yeah. But what, I, what I'm, I'm looking for, see, under all this, as you're telling me, you want to be able to use this for other people and so on yeah yeah okay and and we're always looking in order to instruct you and give you training mm -hmm. is to work on things that are your issues so yes. you get a good sense of what's yep. going on so we're looking yep. for your issue you tell me physically you have niggling little issues yeah right? well yeah there i mean no no serious disease or something there's all little things as as uh that build up and, you know, it's uh, definitely there are things there, but I wouldn't consider, uh, oh my goodness, I better, okay. I'm dying. So the only thing I'm hearing that's coming up so far is your, what did you call that? My not good enough itis. Yep. Okay. That's the only thing I'm hearing. And and that's sort of a generalized thing. It's not yeah. it's not a really specific thing, although there are specific things underneath why you would have that. Yes. Okay. Yes. And and you've got you're talking about something that just about everybody has to some degree or other. Okay. Because yes. yes. we live in a society where you need to achieve and uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and everybody is not good enough at something. I right. told you I wasn't good enough to play professional football. True. Right. True. Okay. You're not good enough to match up to your parents and their manifestations and wondrous achievements and and so on. Close your eyes for me, if you would. 
and just search your past a little bit and see if you can't find a specific event where a mother, father, sibling, somebody, teacher, or so, somebody says or does something and you say to yourself, oh, God, I'm defective. I'm not good enough. Something's wrong with me. Can you find that? Having trouble. <laughs> Nothing's jumping out at me. Okay, well, open your eyes. <laughs> it is. See, that was your big deal yesterday. That was the only big deal we put on the table anyway that I could find. Yes? Yes. And and I've got to do it right or else kind of thing and all of that. Um. And we worked on that and did some reframe. There's a lot of stuff was going on without formally bringing in unseen theory, but she's there anyway. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, does it feel, as far as you can tell, like we did something with that yesterday? Took the edge off it or something or or not? Mm, well, I, I feel since I've, it, I've brought it to my awareness that I'm kind of looking out for it if you will it's more uh, in the conscious mind now yeah and um i i don't feel like it's gone away you know i i'm it from my head logically i know of course i'm i'm as good as anybody else uh, and not necessarily at what they do but you know everybody does something well when i journaled about this the other week i came up with i'm the best at being me and that's uh, that's something that that's not really doesn't make me feel like I'm um, it doesn't take away the not good enough feeling. Well, yeah. Say this for me and then just pause a moment and really tune into it. <laughs> um, and then give me on a scale of zero, to, I'm going to give you a little sentence to say, okay? Yes, yes. And then give me on a scale of zero to 10, how true does it feel to you? Not the, lo I don't want the logic. We yes. want the emotional response, okay? Yes. And here it is. I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. How true? 10 true? Zero true? Two true? What? Uh, eight comes to mind. Seven oh. or eight, you know, that. Well, okay, but it, seven or eight comes to mind. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? Yeah, no, that's that's it. That's I think how it feels. Maybe oh, okay. more seven. Well, okay, but somewhere in that range. And yeah. when you say that, and you say how it feels, is there a physical reaction in there? The heart pounds a little bit, or you feel a constriction someplace, or something? Um. I didn't actually notice, but if there was anything, it might be in the stomach area. I'd have to say it again and tune well, in. Well, well do it. Do it. Get into I'm it. I'm not good enough. No real big physical thing coming to mind. I do sometimes hold my breath and then I catch myself. I know there was somebody else you talked to who had that kind of a a thing, okay. but I not as much um, over right. recent years. I'm going to give you another sentence. Okay. okay. Same exercise. Okay. Yeah. Like, let me write it down first. Remember, zero, zero to ten, ten. Yeah. Boy, is that ever true? Ultimate, yeah. yay, 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 and zero. Is that? Yeah, yeah. All right. It is how it feels, not the logic. How it yeah. feels. Okay. Yeah. I must be perfect. I must be perfect. I'm laughing. <laughs> hmm. There's a conflict 
<laughs> well, a, a conflict in me. I know absolutely. I don't need to be perfect. Um, well, that's the logic. That's that's, that's the logic. Of, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. There's a yeah. side of me that sort of, yeah, but you know, you need to be. So there's a bit of a conflict. So it's hard to read the numbers. I'd say maybe six, but maybe it's an eight because it's struggling within. All right. Well, that's a start anyway. I must be perfect. That's sort of a cousin to not good enough itis. Okay. It's a yeah. cousin, but we hit it a little, a little differently and, and managed to get some kind of response. Was that a stomach response or, or any physical thing you can remember, you can recall? No, but again, it's like a little bit of, of um, hold the breath a second, a little tension for a second, and then, uh, so, you know. Okay. Well, I'm not hearing an ultra biggie here. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, are you sensing an ultra biggie or is it just something that we can talk about that's got some influence on you? Which part, the not good enough or the and the not perfect enough? Well, either one. Yeah. I well, must no, I if I must, oh, I must be, be perfect. perfect. Okay. Yes, must be perfect. It's possible they're bigger than I think. I, I remember it's possible there's something else underneath that we're looking for. I don't know. Okay. Um, I just know when I went over that lesson it was like an aha moment for me and everything suddenly made sense how every, everything sort of fit together uh, would, and that was that, that that was lesson number four yes yeah what about lesson number four triggered that well you had a list of of um things like not good enough and um, unlovable and a few things there and uh -huh. when I saw the not good enough, it kind of really resonated with me. And I did a little journaling on it. And again, when I was thinking about um, my family members, um, it suddenly became kind of clear, ah, you know, that's almost as if that was their role for me to to point me in the direction of that block so I could clear it. Now, okay. that's not very logical, but. There could be something underneath that. I don't know. Well, there probably there probably is. There probably is. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, we we haven't we haven't. I mean, I'm 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 drawing my bow, my my trying yeah. to shoot shoot my arrow. The target isn't yeah. very clear yet. Okay, yeah. it's sort of this general amorphous. I'm not good enough kind of. <laughs> yeah. Do you happen to have handy? Yes. Well, uh, I say it differently. When reading the book, The Unseen Therapist, at the end of it, the personal peace procedure talks about specific events and asks you to make a list of 30 yep. or more. Yep. Do, you have that, do you have that list? I have it on, on the, the computer. I can bring it up. Okay. Uh, hang on a second. Here it is. Oops. Um, there. Okay, it's on online here. I mean, on my yeah. desktop. Okay, are, are, are there any specific events there that are aimed at I'm not good enough, I must be perfect kind of thing? See, I I don't, I didn't actually look at that. And it occurred to me after we were talking or sometime in the last day or so to go back through the list and look for specifically i haven't done that yet uh -huh. but it, it did occur to me that that would probably be a good idea to to go through and look for specifically if any of those relate to to that what i got more of from my list a lot of of um distress and indignance because well um a mentor i worked with over the last couple of years um thought I was an empath and that would make sense in a lot of ways why but also um why a lot of these things like little kids just being kids 
would bother me a lot. I'd always just wanted to be, why can't everybody just be kind, treat each other <laughs> nicely, you know, instead of kind of being mean or whatever. And those sort of things always bothered me. And that's what I was finding a lot or what was more on my list, that kind of thing. Well, actually, I think that's kind of healthy because that's that's recognizing what this world is really like, you know, <laughs> uh, being a dream, being an illusion, and it's filled with that kind of thing. Okay, yes. that, at least that's the glasses through which I look. Okay, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, it's interesting that the major thing you tell me yesterday is I'm not good enough. I must be perfect kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and yet I didn't make your original list. I'd have to go through it and see if there's, if it makes sense, you know, is there, are there things on it that fit in that category? Cause I was going through and I'd, I'd get a lot of different emotions. It's like when I go through them, it's like there's a whole ball of emotions and I have to kind of take out which which one am I feeling because they're all kind of tangled up together. And I'd, I'd put a list of them actually and rate them all and sort of handle them all together, focusing mainly on one because I don't think you're, you're supposed to put them all together. But I don't know, it seems to work and generally brings them all down, even if I'm focusing on mainly one you put how many were there 30 or were there more than that oh I, I mean in one specific event i'd find a bunch of different emotions yeah okay i i have uh yeah and i think i made a list of about a hundred or something oh okay over you, the years yeah you didn't do all 100 at the same time you did one no no no. Okay. Okay. No, no right. i did one event and just that there uh, you talk about aspects, and often yeah. what I find is is different emotions. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, all right. But all instead right. of doing one round on each, yeah. All right. So that list, that list on your computer, is it in front of you now? Yep, I can bring it up in front of me. Okay. Yes. Pick, pick any one of them, some one near the top or the first one or something, and just read to me what you wrote. Okay. Um. Well, it's funny. The first one was actually something I don't remember. We just imagined my daughter uncovered from a little session. So I don't know if you want that one or if I can go to the second one. Um, well, just pick one and tell me what you just read what you wrote. OK, the moment when I had to walk to my piano lesson for the first time and I currently feel so and I put anxious about it. And then I yeah, actually that was a pretty small one. But I guess it could fit in with the not good enough, um, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, and that's well-worded. That's well-worded. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, pick one out that had a fairly high no beginning number. Okay. Let's go back here. Um, that was a six. That's a four. Let's have a look. I know there's some with definitely much that's... Well, there was an eight. Well, read that one. Okay. Most of the other ones were smaller. That one was the moment when Amy told me she and Shona had tricked me, and I still feel so, well, the rejected was actually low, disconnected, isolated, sad, indignant. The one that, yeah, indignant, I think, was the one that was a higher, higher number. Indignant. I've, I've I've yet to hear the term indignant for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> what the, what the... Well, I'm, I'm full of firsts. Okay. But read it again. The moment when. Okay. Amy and Shona, they were two little girls. And I think it was around grade four or something in that age range. Um, where is it? They had tricked me and I still feel so, and I, I came up with a bunch of different possible things, but indignant because, you know, it, it seemed, um, again, this goes back to 
trying to do what's right or or having an idea of what's right and that goes along with the the perfect side you know should be like this side and uh, they they had hit on me and I mean little thing really very little thing but I'm thinking back well why would they do that to me (laughs) well yeah yeah, but you wrote down an eight as an emotional response yes yeah Yeah. it bothered me why are people unkind why what why are people unkind to each other why do they want to play tricks on each other you know that kind of thing what we're looking for is what that means to you. Yes. Now, about to you, about you. Mm-hmm. Okay, like yes. they, they tricked you. Yeah. What one possibility would be they tricked me, and that's because they don't respect me, they don't like yeah. me. I feel unliked, I feel yeah. unvalidated. Uh, you know. Yeah. Would that be in there as well? Yeah, I had, uh, I can read you, sorry, I've got a, here we are. So I had rejected, but that, I didn't feel that was very high, at least not that day. And disconnected, I had isolated, I had sad, and I had unloved, but my feedback was, um, yeah, I had this, a feeling of unloved came up, but I got the sense unseen therapist was assuring me I'm always loved. I just have to remember it. Well, what did I you, notice? Is, well, well, did sorry? you buy it? Did you buy the fact that well, you're always loved? That's a nice statement. But you yeah, know, do yeah you no, buy- I did. I, okay. I did. I ended up putting a zero there. The, the feeling came up. But yes, I, I did buy All right. it. All right. Close your eyes now. We're testing. Okay. Yeah. Go back over that thing where Amy and whoever it was yeah. tricked you. Zero in, if you would, on the isolated uh, feeling. Mm-hmm. That's a form of abandonment. Yeah. That's a form of you're not good enough kind yeah. of thing. Okay. Yeah. Z- zero in on that and tell me if you're still a zero or some other number. No, there's something there. I don't feel it's that. I'd say maybe a four. Again, is there some kind of a physical sensation re- attached to that? I didn't notice any. The term isolation, let's get to that for a moment. Okay. That's, I mean, you brought that up, but it was sort of an also ran thing. Yeah. But the, the term isolation could lead to something deeper than you're, you're able to access yet. Okay. Yes. I, I think I think you're on the right track because I, I think there's definitely um over my life, even very recently with the pandemic, a feeling of, um, I think differently from the general populace. And um, then you feel like you don't fit in. I've never had the sense that, oh, why can't I be more like these people? I always had the feeling like, well, why can't more people be like me? So, (laughs) but there's definitely a feeling of, you know, I I lost touch with some people I had uh, been friends with, in the past over the last couple of years because there's just no but i made new friends as well on um, yeah okay yeah well isolation yeah that's been a big one well yeah but i want to get to something else if i can okay yes please see if it's see again we're exploring and i'm trying to find something really tangible we can work on okay yeah But isolation has some other cousin terms. And some of these terms can really get a lot heavier underneath than we're aware of. Mm -hmm. And one of the, one of the um, cousin terms is the term abandonment Mm -hmm. or, or you've used terms like I don't fit in, et cetera. And, And what I'm thinking is, as you described your, amazing manifesting father and your amazing achieving mother etc 
Mm-hmm. That's not you. You're not able to do that. You're a very young girl. Something is missing with you. You're not good enough. You are isolated from them with with in your own in your own estimation. That's a form of I don't fit in. I'm abandoned. But your parents may be loving to you, but that doesn't mean you don't feel abandoned in some way. Self-abandonment, perhaps. How am I doing? You could be very, uh, very close. I, I just, it's hard to know because I don't have any conscious thought of that. It's It makes sense, absolutely, for something that the subconscious would create. I have seen things like that, even with my own daughters, and I think what it 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 um, I don't know if it came so much from from watching my family. It's very very strange for me because they were a very um, big hearted, you know, my father All particularly. Right. Um, I I feel like where I would consciously be aware of it would be more, you know in other circumstances, like in the school setting or whatever. I really don't, it, although you may be 100% right that that may be what my subconscious got. Well, I don't know, but I've got another yeah, sentence. Maybe. I got another sentence for you. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, this is coming off the wall. I just, it may be nowhere on target, but we'll try yeah. it. Let, sure. let, me get the, let me get the words a minute here. Hold on a second. Here's the sentence. Yes. Just a minute. I've got to get this phone call. Yes. All right. All right. Here, here's, the, here's the sentence. Um, I feel like I'm on an island <laughs> and it's so lonely here. Yes. That resonates. I feel like I'm on an island and it's so lonely here. Yep. That resonates. I uh, need to rate it. I'm going to write it down. So I remember what I'm saying, feel like. I feel like I'm on an island and it's so lonely here. Yeah, it's probably. That's probably a higher one, an eight or nine, maybe. Oh, okay. Physical sensations or not? I wasn't really noticing any. I had a slight twinge in my head, but I that could just be. That's okay. not necessarily. I don't know that's necessarily connected to the sentence. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to. Have, yeah. The, the reason I ask that yeah. is when there is something, and that happens a lot. Okay. Yes, I know. Uh, yeah. it, it's a way to measure how well we're doing. Yes. Yeah, I've done yeah. that actually with people. I've asked the same. Thing. Yeah. Okay. I, All I, right. Absolutely. But it's not. It's not required. To no, get I know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this event with Amy. Yes. And all of that would yeah. that be an example of I'm on an island and. I feel so lonely. Yeah, could be, could be definitely. Anytime, even when I didn't relate to to other people, there were other incidences later on to similar kinds of things where people like to play a friendly prank or whatever. But that always made me feel like you know, I I'm not relating to this, and that makes you feel kind of alone. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's probably... all right. Well, feeling alone, feeling alone in the lonely. Mm-hmm. When I had you say that I'm on an island and I feel so lonely, was mm-hmm. the I feel so lonely the triggering moment in that sentence, or was it on an island? Or oh, the whole thing resonated. I mean, it's um... and the island has the sensation of separateness. You know, yeah, kind of yeah. distance between even if you're right beside a person, you could still feel that that way. So, yeah, yeah, the whole, whole thing, I think, resonates. Yeah. OK, well, that's that sounds like an important issue. Yeah. Um, in a way, I have the same issue myself. 
um, you know, because I'm forever putting stuff out there, like, you know, tapping on the meridian system, you yes. know, that's, whoa, whoa, whoa yeah. you what? You know, I mean, you know, you, you, you're, you're open to a lot of yes. <laughs> arrow, arrows being shot at you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And now I'm bringing in the unseen therapist. Who, yeah, in, the yeah. hell, who in the hell is that? Yeah. You know, and what is that? Ba, ba, yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, yeah. So I have some avid followers, but I have some other people that are. For sure. <laughs> uh, they put me on an island, okay? Yeah. Which is an interesting way of, for me to say it because it's like they put me on the island. Okay. I don't feel like I'm on an island. Uh, yes. Yeah. Do I get indignant to use your words? Oh, it's probably in there somewhere. And that's something I need to work on because I need to, that's a form of like a little bit of resentment kind yeah. of thing. Yes. Um, and so that's a remnant I need to work on. Cause I, well, let me just ask you to me, since we now have the same issue. Okay. <laughs> to me, this being on this Island, I don't feel lonely here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so that's a different, I don't feel lonely. Yeah. I, I wish more people would come onto the island and say, yay, yay, this is a great island. You know, we should make this a continent. Yes. Um, and more and more are doing that, but there's a lot that are outside that. Okay. Yeah. Um, but my response, I'm talking about my response yeah. to that. So I was when we talked about yesterday. It's it's my your response yes. to these things that really counts. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we yes. need to have, I think the right term, but always correct me, mm -hmm. is we need to have compassion and tolerance for those with different views. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And when we don't, we're developing forms of resentments and stuff like that that's costing us. And it's judgment, too, which I don't think is... Well, judgment and resentment also go together. Yeah. You know, they're in yep. the same little basket of terms. Yep. <laughs> um, so I can see now, at least I think I'm seeing, you tell me. Yeah. I'll back up just for a second. You're familiar with my metaphor, the tabletop and table legs? Yeah. Okay. I can see a tabletop yep. that is, um, I am not tolerant of other people's views or something like that. Or mm -hmm. I feel alone or I feel like I'm on an island. Okay. That that would be the tabletop. Yeah. I don't think the first one is 100% right. And I have definitely, there's probably still more work to be done. But I I don't feel like I'm not tolerant of other people's views. And I do definitely try and be compassionate towards people. Okay. And right. I feel compassionate towards people. But the second one is is resonates more with me. Okay. So the 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 title of the tabletop would be I'm on an island and I feel so lonely. That's probably true. I don't feel lonely when I'm connecting with people who are like minded and who can, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. But well, sure. just in the general populace, or I'm talking to other people and they, it just doesn't resonate what they're saying and I can't really connect, then I definitely would feel that way. Yeah. yeah and it, it limits, I'm guessing, your limits your conversation. It limits what you, the potential for the friendship and all of yes. that. Yes, okay. I would say it probably does. And there are probably many specific events underlying this tabletop, you know, yes. table legs. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. And so Amy and her friend. Yeah. Would that be a valid table leg? I would think so. That's a specific event that okay. underneath this uh, definitely makes sense to me, yeah. Okay. Can you think of a table leg, a specific event that might be more valid for this tabletop? Well, from my childhood, it's a little harder. I can take a look through. I mean, there's things that were more recent, you know, over more recent years, 20s and 30s, 40s, whatever, even 50s, but there um we wanting something i'm sure 
Yeah, there there are some from more childhood and I've dealt with them. Um, yeah, I would say I'm sure there are things there. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes. can, can you think of one more impactful than the Amy thing? That's what I'm asking. Oh, yes. Yes. There was a time now, this would be, I think, age 11-ish, if that's not too, too, uh, if that's well, far enough back. Well, four is better, but let's try, let's try 11, you know. I can't remember anything that's like that when I was, I don't even remember stuff from back that far. Um, well, that's okay. Well, take, I, can, take, I can look. Take the 11. Okay, that's all right. Okay, so we were living with uh, temporarily because we had just moved to Montreal, and let's see, I'm trying to remember the this was the second time or was I actually? Oh no, I may have been older because we moved there twice. Was that when I was fourteen? Then could be. Yeah, I think so, because we moved back, and that's why we were staying with, yeah. 14, okay, or you want something earlier? The earlier, the better, but we, yeah. but I want, more than that, I want something that's more, if something is more impactful than the Amy thing, that's what we want. Yeah. For, for now, for now. We're, we're going to do Well, it actually, person. okay, okay, and there were a couple of things that, that I worked on a lot that were from around nine, and one might be, I have no idea what age I was, could be six, seven, eight, I don't know. First trip to the dentist, that was fairly traumatic, because what happened was, and that's the earliest one I can think of, and I don't know if this is quite what you're looking for, but I'll tell you, right. and so I was very anxious about it, very uncomfortable. I didn't want to be there. And I ran out of the, the office. So, and I think I was screaming. So the dentist um, had this black foam stuff and he, he put black, the black foam in my mouth to stop me from screaming, running into the waiting room and that. So um, that was fairly... I don't know if that fits into your, I'm all, you know, on what we did here. I feel like I'm on an island and it's so lonely here, but it could, I suppose. Is that the sort of thing you're looking for or not? Really? Well, I'm not, I'm not seeing, I'm not saying it's not there. I'm just not yeah. seeing a connection between the island thing and, okay. and uh, having some black foam put in your mouth and you don't like it. Yeah. Uh, Okay. Uh, is there are you on an island at that point or or, or does that fit or it's just yeah i'm not sure i'm not sure i was just trying to think of more impactful childhood events um, and right. other things didn't happen until later on my childhood right. is fairly content all right that, i got a different idea here. maybe being at camp and uh, didn't connect necessarily i had one friend there one time being, oh gosh, okay, please, because I'm not coming up with the right stuff. Okay. We get this into something a little more, a little more advanced, which is good because we're teaching here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you've got this, this idea that you get an eight or nine on it, you're on an island and it's lonely. Okay. Yeah. All right. You're not coming up with an exact specific event, an exact table leg under the tabletop. Yes. Okay. Yes. Although there are likely many. Yes. Okay. And we want to deal with one to start with. What I'm going to do yes. here is skip ahead in the, all the lessons that you, you're in lessons four, but this was lesson five or something. Five. five. Yeah. yeah. This, this is up to lesson 27 or eight or somewhere up there. Okay. It has to do with when you can't remember a specific event, which happens a lot. What happened in yeah. H2, I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah. Is to make yeah. one up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We make it up. All right. Now, it's not so important when we're dealing with a specific event to have the details of the event just right. Right. Okay. Because there are in the past, a lot of details are foggy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um. 
But what we're looking for is your emotional response. Yes. That's what's important about it. So we can make something up completely. Okay. Okay. And if it, that gives you a, of some kind. Yes. We can use that completely made up event as though it was real because we're aiming at the emotional response. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, what I'm thinking of doing here is sort of a made up one. Okay. Because I can think of a lot from later years, but not from childhood. Well, the chances are if we deal with one from later years. Yes. Um, and that's an avenue we could take. I'm just thinking of a different avenue for the moment. Yeah. But you're, we're recording this, so you can look at it and get the idea again. You can go to one that's at age 20 or 15 or something yeah. later, okay? Yeah. But it will probably do something for that, but it will probably point you to something more foundational still. You won't go from yes. an eight or nine to a zero. You'll go from an eight or nine to a three or a five or something like that. Meaning you haven't finished it yet. There's something yeah. deeper and it will probably point you there. But I want to do something a little different. Okay. I want to be a little more, I, I'm going to do a made up kind of thing. Okay. okay. I'm going to, I'm going to make it up. All right. Okay. Uh, but it's going to be more, more generic rather okay. than a specific event. It's yeah. still made up, and we're still mm-hmm. going to aim at the lonely emotion. Yes. yes. Okay. And we'll see what happens. Okay. Does that work? Yep. Okay. So this is going to be, you know, easy on your part because all you don't just follow along. Okay, I'm going to narrate the whole thing and. Okay. And all of that. However, however, if at any time something comes up and you think I'm in the wrong place or yeah. or something comes up that just seems important. Yes. Say it. Okay. You can interrupt it. All right. Unseen therapist will not shake her finger at you and say no. shame, shame, shame. No, no. <laughs> I think she has a good sense of humor. Didn't well, it's good sense of humor and you know she's non-judgmental. It's more like thank you, thank you, thank you. That'll help. Okay. So, yeah. 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 So we'll just go, we'll give that a shot and go from there. That works. Okay. Yes. All right. I'm being... All right. Let me let me just narrate the thing. So you know, close the eyes. All right. And take a nice, deep, relaxing breath. We're gonna be here a little while, probably. You know. All right. And as you are used to by now, let's uh, start this off by just recalling a, we're going to align ourselves with the unseen therapist. It's an invitation. And we're going to do that just by doing our best to recall a loving event, a loving moment in our own life. So just recall that. And whenever you're there, just nod your head. All right, good. And just as a reminder with your eyes still closed, We don't have to have this be perfect in a Hollywood moment and all of that kind of stuff. We're just doing our best. We're just letting unseen therapists know we're listening. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) We're going to hand you a little something and uh, ask you for a little help, but we're listening. We're open to the guidance now. Okay. That's all that is. Yeah. So now. Let's. Plug into your imagination. And let's imagine you at whatever young age you wish to choose. And there you are walking around in a friendly gathering of people, maybe even a small city. People are nice. They have different opinions on stuff, as which is typical. Okay. You have your own opinions. And they have their opinions. And the chances, of course, of these opinions perfectly coinciding is next to zero. Okay. <laughs> and as a little reframe, when we enter the 
world of separation, one of the things that comes with that is separate interests, separate ideas, separate backgrounds, separate beliefs, separate filters on how we see things, and all of that, separate cultures that influence us, separate schools, separate parents, separate movies we've seen, blah, 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 blah. No two people have the same set of values, interests, beliefs, etc. No two people have the exact same. They, they may both have the same political view, but even in, in that, there are differences. They may have the same religious view, but even in that, there are shades of differences and on and on it goes. So you're running around inside a, this is all reframe, Marnie, okay. Mm -hmm. So there you are running around in a sea of people and a sea of beliefs and a sea of ideas and thoughts about what is or isn't right. And you have in your imagination this view that yours it's got to be the right one, all right? And so does everybody else, by the way. Their own beliefs are, of course, the, the right ones. That's what they use to get through this world, okay? What is right and what is wrong and what is ethical and moral and not, and all of that are just different with different people. And, of course, some people get quite adamant about that, maybe even little you, okay? <laughs> I'm right. I'm right. Yes, sir. I'm right. That's all there is to it. Well, that's unseen therapist. That's a little expensive because <laughs> even though you think you're right, believe me, Marnie, says unseen therapist, as you grow older, all those beliefs are going to start to change. Okay. There will be a time when you, when you have a view of marriage. And time will go on, and that view will change a little bit. You have a view of what's how to raise children, and time goes on, and that changes a little bit, okay? You have a view of health, you, a view of doctors, a view of all kinds of things, and they're going to shift. So how do you know what's right where? And here you are, Marnie, says Unseen Therapist, on your own little island in this sea of people, Okay. And it's natural to feel lonely when we have to say, I'm right, and that's all there is to it. Now, we're not saying, we're not asking you to give up your beliefs and being right and all of that. Unseen therapist says you're in a sea of people where it's impossible to get agreement across the board. <laughs> so just understand that, and you can, you can. You can insist on being right all you want, but that's going to cost you. All right. It's going to cost you. There's a beauty behind everyone. And she says, Marnie, imagine for the moment that you are in conversation. <clears throat> and here again, we're going to be any age you want to be. Let's be an adult in this particular piece. Okay. Let's just imagine that you're in this conversation on some topic, the pandemic, for example, and the other person has a different view than you do. And you're saying nobody should mandate to me anything or to anybody else that close businesses and do this and do that and yeah, and the other person says, oh, 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 no, no, but, but you got, you have to do that for the good of everybody, you know. No, no. What's really going on, says Unseen Therapy, imagine this. Here's the two of you seemingly arguing with each other or holding different views and maybe not even expressing them, but nonetheless, uh, you know, I'm right and you're wrong. And no, 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 no. Both are doing that. But what's really happening is both people have a set of beliefs that are different. And so if you will imagine in this conversation that floating above each of the people is a cloud. And that cloud contains all the beliefs that each person has. They are different. 
the people themselves are pure and beautiful children of God. And it is the beliefs, the clouds that are arguing or having differences. Okay. <laughs> um, and so both of you recognize that it is the beliefs that are conflicting. And so you walk out from underneath your clouds with the other person. You go off and have a drink someplace or you play tennis or whatever whatever you want to do to be great friends and let the beliefs go ahead and argue with themselves the two clouds bump into each other. When you do that, are you on an island? Let's go back now. There you are, the young you, walking around the sea of people, all of whom are having their own conversations, their own belief clouds above them. And you're now seeing them a little bit differently. It's the cloud of their beliefs that I'm, that my cloud is debating. I'm not on an island now. I don't feel lonely now because now I'm dealing with the essence of everyone. Now, I can be on an island if I want to because my cloud is going to disagree with everybody else's cloud. <laughs> okay, At least in some area somewhere. Okay. I need freedom. And freedom is to walk from underneath the cloud. So what we're going to do with that little reframe and that setup, if you will, is we're going to go back to you being the young you, feeling like you're on an island and it is so lonely here is we're going to take that lonely feeling, that lonely emotional response, knowing now that it's really not necessary. Sure, you do it, but it's not necessary. And we're going to represent that as you're used to now from our OEFT course. And we're going to represent it as an unwanted vibration somewhere in your body a loneliness vibration. And we'll just pick out the heart, an unwanted vibration around the heart. Ta-ta, okay. ta-ta, 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 like that. Okay. We're not asking you to make your heart vibrate. This is an imaginary thing. And so we're just metaphorically putting that together. And we're going to hand it to unseen therapists because I don't need to feel lonely here anymore. It's costing me, making me feel like I'm not good enough when in fact I am. Okay. And so in our imagination now, we allow unseen therapists to send towards you a cooling, healing, loving breeze so if that lonely feeling that not good enough feeling is doesn't need to be there so here comes a breeze it comes towards you it enters your body and begins circulating around your heart and that unwanted vibration just can't survive with all that understanding Love. The unseen therapist understands this at a level young you just are not able to do. An adult you is having a little problem with it. <laughs> but we want to go back to where it first started for example. This little metaphor is to help. So here's the cooling, healing, understanding breeze that circulates around the heart the unwanted vibration. The vibration cannot survive in all of that. So it goes, ta-ta, 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 ta-ta. 
Now let's do that again. There you are on this island feeling lonely. Unwanted vibration around your heart. Unseen therapist sees it in your imagination. Here comes the breeze. Ta 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 and maybe in your imagination you find yourself sort of floating off the island. Now, take your time, Marnie, and repeat this another time, twice, three, more, whatever. Unwanted vibration, the loneliness, the island, ta 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 the breeze da, 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 da. and repeat until you've gone as far as you think you can go however far that is okay there's no grades here you don't get an a or a c you don't have to do it right okay you just do it and whenever you think you're done and gone as far as you can just open your eyes and you and i will we'll talk a bit Okay. Okay. So our first question is, were you able to follow along? Okay. Did you have a bunch of competing thoughts or? No, no. You're narrating. I'm used to guided meditation. I meditate every day, 15 okay. minutes a day, with or all without right. guidance. So that was easy to follow. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. One thing you could do, by the way, is when you meditate for 15 minutes, do a purposeful one, just like we just did. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. a good idea. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I was um, thinking of doing doing the peace procedure, um, specifically guided ones to to work more on. Yeah. Actually, yeah. What I, yeah. Go ahead. Well, okay. So, what did happen in there? Anything other than what we talked well, about, or? Yeah. No. I the clouds actually. When you first mentioned the clouds above people's heads, they wanted to merge together. <laughs> Uh -huh. and become like one one cloud so that that was kind of interesting and uh, then i definitely when you said to fly away i was enjoying floating above and sort of just floating up there it didn't feel lonely floating up there kind of flying up in the clouds and sort of uh, i logically have always recognized it's okay for different people to have different beliefs, but I never really felt a connection if it was that much at odds with mine. I um, respect and allow, you know, different a different belief, but I didn't feel a connection. Somehow this just, you know, everything merging together and I guess becoming part of the one doesn't really matter, you know, that that element and I like the imagery of the clouds above the people and you can just move you know move away I like that yeah leave the clouds up there behind to do whatever they want whether they want to fight or merge or whatever they want to do <laughs> just well I like that what you were saying earlier about you've already well, I forget the exact words but you <laughs> you respect people have the different ideas and and yeah. so on yeah uh that could be an academic logical statement yes rather than one you own right okay yes. and we're trying to move towards something that you own rather than something that you state yeah okay there's a difference yeah i understand let's do a little testing here okay, okay. let me look at my notes here a second Okay, say this sentence for me and tell me what you're, how true it feels. Yes. Okay. 
I'm on an island and I feel so lonely. I'm on an island and I feel so lonely. It's just a little trepidation left as if I, I'm not, but what is that replaced with? You know what I mean? Like you live that way, but then you kind of clear it. And then now what? Well, yeah. Well, you were an eight or nine and now you're telling me you're like a one-ish or something. Um, yeah. Yeah, probably. Okay. I, what is it again? I am. I feel like I'm on an island and it's so lonely. I feel like I'm on an island and it's so lonely here. Yeah, no, there's just that kind of underlying uh, what? trepidation okay because... all right and that's that marnie is what i would typically expect we did not get to a specific event which is the more efficient way to do it we treated it like we tried to throw a whole bunch of specific events in there yes you know with a big reframe and all of that okay because we couldn't find specific events yeah. all right yeah. okay so I'm a great one, as you will learn more and more going through the course, for testing. I never want to be fooled by a temporary result, and you don't want to be fooled either. Yes. Okay. So, so what we just got there seemed to be successful for now. Am, am I saying it right? Yeah. Okay. But we don't know what's left yet, and and tomorrow mm -hmm. will the sun will rise again, <laughs> and, and life will resume. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and and all and all of that so you'll want to test it again tomorrow okay okay mm -hmm. you'll want to run it run the run it through again see what comes up all right yes. now if it's zero or one or some little bit of a thing well okay i would think it'll probably be higher than that okay don't know don't okay. know we don't know it'll be tested okay but that's not bad. That's actually good because it's telling you, well, you didn't get to specific events. You, you probably kicked the center out of it someplace yeah. in there, and that's a good thing. But there's more to do. Now start looking for more specific events that you can do to help clean it up. Okay. Because yes. yeah. there's, see, there's probably lots of related events in there. Yes. Where you would feel isolated if you will yes. okay or lonely or whatever yeah the time somebody did this and somebody did that and i thought this and, blah, 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 blah. and so those are cleanup things and the more of those you do the freer you are yes of it yeah. now getting back to my tabletop and table the tabletop and table i feel so lonely on this island for example yes. yeah okay so here's all these tables there may be hundreds of them okay Mm -hmm. It wouldn't surprise maybe a thousand. I mean, your life goes on and all these things happen. Okay. So I don't know how many we dealt with here with this more generalized thing, but it's not all of them. All right. right. Yes. <laughs> okay. So it's, I, I got two of them. Okay. Right. <laughs> or, or, or some. Okay. But are, are you familiar with uh, uh, my phrase, the generalization effect? I think I've heard it, but maybe I'm not familiar enough okay. with it. Let, there's I a think, lesson. No, it did, it did just that was in lesson five, wasn't it? Possibly. I'm not. I'm not sure. It could be. Yeah. It could be, but the yes, I, yes. the idea of it is you could have hundreds or a thousand yes. of these lonely island type things. Yeah. Okay. Not good enough. I just stuff. Okay. Yes. But you don't have to deal with several hundred of these or a thousand of these to get relief from yes. all of this. You can, you can, if you deal with five, 10, 15, 20 and do them well, really well, they generalize yes. over all the rest of them. Right. Right. Because they're similar people, yeah. uh, similar gestures, similar tones of voice, similar concepts. Blah, 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 yeah. Yes. And so that's the nice thing about it. 5, 10, 15, 20, really, really well. Yeah. And there's a freedom there. Yes. That's, that's going to help a lot, I think. Yeah. 
Now that's me throwing a whole bunch at you. Okay. Oh, that's all right. I didn't bring my <laughs> mitts, but yeah, I'm good. Well, and that's why we're recording it as well. Yeah. Um. Let's um. I want to test again. Okay. Go go back to the Amy thing. Close your eyes. Go back to the Amy thing. I think you said you were like a four or no, no. You were a four or a six or something. Yeah, go back. Yeah. Go back to it. Run the movie in detail. You know, try to get yourself upset about that that movie. And tell me what happens. I'm I'm having trouble to um I I it, it seems like it's kind of separate like oh well they're just little kids and you know playing a prank and it's not really anything so so serious and I guess in a way that's their cloud or whatever. <laughs> um, well, am I hearing the the, the Thing is pretty much gone. I think so. At All right. Well, we didn't actually deal with that one specifically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We yeah. dealt, I with, have it. dealt with it before, but yeah. Well, if just now though, I, I mean, you gave me a yes. number. I, maybe I didn't yeah, write it, it down. Was, it was it was like a four or something, or yeah, was, was it still, not? Yeah, definitely. There was still something there. Yes, that's right. I think four. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. That's a clue that we did something. One other thing yeah. here is I got something else for you to say and then give me your, okay. how true is this on a 10 point scale? How true okay. does it feel to yes. you? Okay. I must be perfect. I must be perfect. I'm having trouble putting a number to it. It just came that's an illusion anyways. Well, that's different than the six or eight you gave me a, to begin with. Yes. All right. Again, I don't want to be fooled by a temporary result, but that's a clue. We did something worthwhile. We moved in a proper direction yes. with, with this. Yes. With this. Okay. Probably more there as we talked about. Yes. Okay. And you will find that out as you see, see, it's recorded. So we can go, you can go back over this session. Yes. And you can plug in specific events if you want to. Yes. Uh, it take a little skill to do that because it doesn't exactly fit, but it, it's a doable thing. 